is a brief lesson on how to um, import photos <clears throat> from your whatever you're taking pictures with. This happens to be our class camera, but it's a um, this is the SD card. I want to show you how to import those photos. I want to show you how to um, create a album with those photos and how to edit photos. Uh, very very basic editing, cropping, etc. So uh, when I um, plugged in my SD card, Photos app opened. That's because I had clicked previously open photos for this device. So my computer knows that you should open photos when this device gets plugged in. I'm also going to delete items after import so I don't have to work on, I don't have to do that on the camera after, um, after I put the pictures on the computer. So delete items after import open photos for this device. If you plug in your SD card and it does and photos does not pop up, just simply open the photos app and it should do that. Now I'm going to say import all new photos. Only have 5 here. Even if I took a bunch, I would want to import all my new ones because um, I find it much easier to look through and get rid of cameras. I mean, uh, sorry, photos on the computer because you can see them better than you can see them on the screen. So I just imported these. I like that one okay. I like that one okay. That one's sort of blurry so I'm going to delete that one. Yes, I'm sure I want to delete it. And I sort of like this one although the mirror looks really dirty but I like how the focus has shifted here. So I just got rid of one and now I have four photos that I like. Um, I'm actually going to show you how to crop. So here, let's say I really want to just um, crop out some of this information here. So I'm going to go to Edit and Crop. Now here, these are the different aspect ratios for your picture plane, <clears throat> and we've talked about picture planes a couple times before, but um, you'll see that when I choose, for example, 3 by 5, that's going to be a very different look than an 8 by 10. An 8 by 10 gives us a much different composition. It's, more, it's almost a square, whereas a 3 by 5 is much more long and landscape-y. So I like the 8 by 10 here. Now, if I had to print it as a 3x5, I would want to preview that here. So, for example, the, um, the photo printer we have is a 4x6. Yeah, 6x4. So this would be what that print printout would look like. And you can flip it. You can flip your image that way. You can also, if you drag, um, if you're keeping it as that, you should be able to, oh, yeah, no. Oh, yeah, right here, sorry. You can change it to landscape, uh, portrait and landscape here. So we're going to say done. Hooray. So there's one cropped picture. And now I want to put these four photos on my blog. These are pretty big file sizes here. So um, I am going to export them as a smaller image size. That way they're easier to email, they're easier to share, they're easier to airdrop, um, they're easier to put on our blogs. So to um, if I say I had wanted to pick and choose pictures, um, that I wanted to put into a folder. Remember, we're going to keep our stuff organized in folders. But if I wanted to pick and choose from various areas, I could go to my albums, make a new one, yay, picks, and I could drag photos in from there. So my recents, um, I could drag multiple different photos. Uh, into yay pics. There we go. Want that. Want that. Want this. If you want to select multiple pictures that are in a row, you can click the first one. 
hold shift and click the last one and now see all four of those are selected. And then you can see all my pictures are in here. Now I can go to file and export and I'm going to export album. Now yours will probably look like this. If you like a JPEG, that's a great file, a photo file. But yours probably says high here, and we want to change that to low, smallest size. And then we're going to export. Go to your photos folder. We're going to keep ourselves organized this whole trimester, I swear to goodness. Choose your photography, and Maybe you want to put it in your week one blog post. Maybe you want to do a new folder and say um, photo scav hunt one. Create. And then we will export. And now those photos, so this little wheel here is telling us, oh, I'm exporting, I'm exporting. And when that is done, these photos will be in that photography folder and they'll be much easier for me to drag into, um, for example, your photo scavenger hunt assignment sheet. You can just drag those smaller photos rather than these large files that sometimes have a really hard time uh, making, the, making the leap from iPhoto into, right directly into a Google Doc.